Greetings from the Hall of Justice. This is talking about superheroes. And what do we do on this show? We are doing the... I mean, what do we talk about? Oh, we talk about superheroes. Yes, that's okay. Here we are at the historic Hall of Justice. Well, outside of it. Oh, yeah. They won't let us in. Yeah, um, we're actually kind of in the water, I think. Oh, it's nice. It's cool. Yeah. Anyways, today we're here to talk about everything lame. The lamest of not the lame. The dumbest everything. Well, not everything. Just, um, we got our top ten lame villains and our top ten... Really pathetic superheroes. Right. These guys are on the lowest level. Yeah, give me a thumbs down there. <laughs> Ew, you Stinkers. Made we can we can put that sound effect in probably. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the bad the bad guys, the villains. They're not they're not bad as in evil bad, very bad. They're like bad as in lame. Bad as in bad. Stinky. So, these aren't actually in any kind of order, we didn't have time to do that, but let's start. Let's see. Mad Hatter. Ooh. Ah, Jervis Tetch. He's, he's, he's like got, um, he's got a really dumb hat. The thing about him is he's supposed to be like the character from Alice in Wonderland, but he's just annoying. He's, he's got like a hat that hypnotizes people. I don't know what that has to do with Alice in Wonderland. Um, it, uh, giving, like, hypnotizing everyone. You, um, he's just like, you will do everything I say because I have a hat. <laughs> Stare into my hat. And he's all like, oh, Kalu, Kale. And I'm like, stop quoting, um, the, um, Alice in Wonderland. It's just dumb. Okay. But yeah, that's just, I never liked him. Bad hatter. And um, next on the list, we've got Killer Moth. Um, let's see, this guy, um, I think his name's Drury Walker or something. That's a weird name, but um, but he's got a really funky costume. It's like, um, I don't know, a lifesaver pack or something. <laughs> like, um, yeah, even his, especially his tights, he's got those little, um, like, uh, the fruit lifesavers, uh, like, there's something it looks like, but, um, but, uh, just any villain who, um, has to do with moths, those are just not very evil creatures. We would hope that he just flies close to the light and Yeah, die, and um, dies. but he's got, like, a little, um, I think he has, like, a, um, silk gun or something, and it always, <laughs> like, explodes in his face or something. Oh, no. But, um, but no, just... I mean, and later on, they tried to make him cooler, and they made him kind of—they gave him sort of the man bat treatment and made him a giant moth. Yeah. That did not make him any cooler, though. Just a fuzzy guy. He's like, ugh. He like spit acid out of his mouth. Oh. Lame. And next we have Toy Man. Oh, we love toys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. That's true. But that guy plays with the dumb toys. He's like. A little doll that goes mama and like like he probably has one of those is like looks really creepy and everyone's just like ah that it um vomits like um acid at you or something uh like, yeah kind of like the um killer mob thing but but he just has creepy toys and um little toy soldiers and stuff and he's all like i'm the toy man and i'm like a little kid <laughs> No, He's kind of like a little kid. kid. Sorry, Django. Yeah. Uh, Toy Man's. He should. He should. He should have stayed a boy. And in some versions, he's just really creepy. Mm. And now um, there's also Ringmaster, 
Another supervillain with a dumb hat that hypnotizes people. It's just weird. It just can't get very original. Is he, uh, is he DC he's or Marvel? Marvel though. He's Marvel, so they, they share the hat. Yeah, um, well, he's got like a purple hat with a little like swirly thing on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and he's got a creepy mustache and he has like this green vest, I mean, his green um, uh, tailcoat that has stars on it. And he's just a guy who's hypnotic and he has like an evil circus. Oh. I just never really liked the circus. Do we have yet another hypnotic supervillain? The puppet Eat master. <laughs> he's like a Fantastic Four villain. Um, and uh, he's, he just looks really weird. He's like... He's got like buggy, buggy eyes. And um, pretty much he plays with little puppets. And... And they um, end up being like it's like a voodoo doll puppet mm. that um, um, the character that it's like meant to look like the the real person ends up like doing this stuff and puppets are creepy. <laughs> this guy's bad. Bad fashion too, right? Isn't Let's, it like bad costume? Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, Trickster is the other Trickster guy. Trickster has bad costume. I was talking about Trickster. I guess he's trying to be like the Joker, but it's too much. I think he has like little springy boots. Oh yeah, he's boing got, like, boing. He's got like pixie boots. And he's got this really goofy costume. It's like a, got the stripes. I mean, there was one version of him I really liked, but it was mostly because it was making fun of how lame he was. But he was just like, nobody gets me. <sighs> It's a snack gun. <laughs> oh, yuck. And the other villains are just like, you know what, this is dumb. Bye. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. The Mole Man. I don't know about him other than he's just grody and he's disgusting. It's like this little hunching guy who's like, and he's like, um, lives in caves and um, has armies of these little, um, pimple men. Mm. These little guys that look like pimples. Uh -huh. like, they're like these little mole men. And what like, happens when you squeeze them? I don't know, they probably get gross. Oh. He's just disgusting. And that's lame. Let's see. Um, and you're going to talk about... I put arcade. Uh, arcade on the list because growing up in the 80s and reading the Clisk... Chris Claremont X-Men. This was one guy who kind of like Ringmaster, Toy Man, Mad Hatter, all these guys are just kooky and he makes these wild arcade setups for the X-Men. Actually I kind of liked him but as a character I didn't like arcade. Something uh, about the red hair and the snarly I didn't like his bow tie. face, the I bow, don't tie. Like bow ties. The penguin's sort of okay but they don't, I don't like They're getting a little cheese, there's a little cheese ball there. A little cheesy. Yeah. And then the next one I put on the list is the Beyonder. Uh, the Beyonder, he's got this, um, he's got a real, another funny outfit, but he's got a super 80s costume with like, um, like, uh, parachute pants. Yes, so. parachute pants makes a super villain not he's so like scary. He's dressed kind of like Michael Jackson, and he's yeah. got like Michael Jackson hair, I think. He likes to wear all white, and he's just like, he, yeah, he looks like Jermaine Jackson, actually. Who's Jermaine? It's Michael Jackson's brother. Jermaine, lesser known. But yeah, it's totally limitless power, all packed into a very lame body uh, yeah, of a guy. Wait, there's different misunderstandings he has about humanity, right? Oh yeah, he doesn't know what, how humans eat or sleep Pee. or breathe or any other bodily functions. And so they spend a lot of time in a comic, in the Secret Wars, no doubt, when all the superheroes are together trying to get the Beyonder to act more human, which I think... Not the perfect use of space. Yeah. And let's see. Last on the list. This is the last one. Okay, let's both say this now. Nick. Nimrod. Nimrod. What a name. I mean, that's probably what's most lame about him, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. they introduce a new villain and he's like, I am Nimrod. And all the heroes are probably like, 
Damn, Ron. That's the worst. I know, doesn't that be like a dummy? I think so. Nimrod. Yeah, Nimrod. He was some kind of uh, super sentinel guy, another impervious to all, um, you know, totally impenetrable armor, uh, you know, impossible to defeat, but, you know, terrible name. Terrible look, had, like, looking guy. Yeah, like big robo boots. Yeah, big robo boots, very You'd angular, so. triangular. Eh, not a very favorite of ours. Anyways, now to the heroes. Thank you.